Velocity is actually really important to us because what the ultrasound equipment is measuring is time, the time it takes for a pulse to start, go out, and come back. Well, what we want to know is distance or shape or size, and so you have to convert that by some way into a known velocity. If you have a medium like air where the molecules are pretty widely spaced, uh, you're going to have a slower velocity, whereas if you have closer spacing of the molecules, you're going to have a more rapid velocity. Um, in air, the velocity of sound is about 330 meters per second. Velocity in tissue, and this is a number that comes up all the time because this is what all ultrasound units assume is what's going to happen when you put the energy into the body, is 1,540 meters per second. Well, what if you're not actually at 1,540 meters per second? Uh, again, we said air very poorly, you know, not very dense. Water is denser. Steel is extremely dense, and one of the early uses of ultrasound was in flaw detection in metals. Well, we're taking this as kind of our rule of thumb. This is what the equipment has to assume, but that's simply not the case in many cases. And here's an example. Uh, fat tissue, instead of 1540, it's actually 1450 meters per second. Bone, way up there at 4,000 meters per second. And that introduces distortion into the tissue. Because uh, the ultrasound machine is going to say that everything you look at has this velocity in tissue. And it's simply not true. Bladder is different. Fat tissue is different. And that gets us to the bayonet. There's an artifact called the bayonet artifact where, let's say you're trying to do a regional nerve block and here's your needle coming in. Well, why is the needle bayonet shaped here? Well, this is an example of that fact that we have, say, fatty tissue here and muscle tissue here, and the machine has to assume that everything's coming back at 1540 meters per second, but it's not. So it simply cheerfully displays things uh, assuming 1540 where it's not the accurate number to use. So that's one reason you need to be aware of this is uh, if you look at your needle going in, it's kind of like putting a straw in the glass and it looks like the straw angles off and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So there's the bayonet artifact. Here's a s more subtle form of it. Again, needle coming in, uh, different tissue overlying causing this apparent offset when all it really is is the machine's not smart enough to know exactly what the true speed of transmission is here.